Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do an unboxing video of a new purchase I made today. So this bag is a part of the 22C, the um, cruise collection for 2022. Um, and I just picked it up, so I thought I would share with you what I got today. So I first saw this bag um, when someone paid, posted this up on Instagram. And I do not do very many Chanel unboxings. So I think this might be the first one I've done. Okay, let's see. This bow is a little different than what I remember. It's like harder than what I remember. Okay, let's take that off. So I'll try to do a what fits as well. So it comes in a nice box like this and it has a magnetic closure. And look at that. It's so nicely wrapped. And have and here's the um, dust bag. Oh, here it is. So all their, all their tape has like Chanel on it now. Yeah, it's got like... Sorry, this is taking so long. They really wrapped it well. Like, I don't know if they it, but... I don't think this is going to... All right, here she is with the tag. Um, it's the small flat bag. Um, and this is the front. So I'm going to open it up. And here we go. Here she is. This is the Cruise Collection, um, small flat bag. I think it's called the Like a Wallet. So it comes with a really long chain, actually. Boy, oh boy. He really wrap this guy good. Jeez. Like to, I'm going to open up this chain so that I can measure it for you so you know um, how long it is. In case you guys want to talk to your essay and pick this bag up. Apparently black is still available um, in store. Okay. All right. So here it is. The Like a Wallet bag. It comes in, um, it looks like some sort of light, a light gold hardware. Um, so I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, the gold is a light gold. It's not silver. At first when I saw it, I thought it was silver, but it's actually light gold. Um, let me grab my ruler and do some measurements for you. So, the bag across is eight and a half inches. The height is about six and a half inches yeah the chain drop let me measure this 
okay, this is not going to be exact, but um, so that's 12 plus another, oh, that's pretty high actually. Let me start from here. It's like, okay, so that's one foot already. One foot right there. And then, oh, so it's pretty good. It's like 20 point drop. So that's like, that's like a really good for a crossbody actually. 24, that's going to fit a lot of people. And so this particular piece is caviar. It's like the small caviar. Um, but when you compare, like it's very different from the caviar on a classic flat bag. So if you got a classic flat bag, I don't have a classic flat bag, but the caviar is different. I have the classic wallet. And um, this is matter versus um, the wallet, which is actually the same leather that you would find on the classic flap. It's a, a little more shinier and it honestly feels a little bit more supple and luxurious. So I think that's probably why there's such a huge price difference between these two, between the flap bags and, you know, the non-flap, like the classic flap and the non-classic flap bags. So um, let's open it up so I can show you. You know, one thing I really love about this is it kind of looks like a regular, you know, your typical classic flap bag. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, um, rectangular, so it's, you know, pretty classic style and it's not too busy, which is also why I like it. The CC turn lock here, it's a big lock. It's huge. Also, um, I have the stickers over it, but you can see that there's like an engraving here that says Chanel on it. So I'll probably keep that on there for now. Um, so here we go again. It's the, um. Kind of the light gold hardware so if we open it up um you have one big pocket here and then also you have like the main compartment here um and it's a zippered compartment and it holds quite a bit it's quite big and then also back here there's another pocket so there's like three huge pockets here. And so you're probably wondering what fits. So I'm gonna grab my phone here. I'm gonna grab a, so this is um, an old iPhone that I have. It's like the max, it's a huge phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can fit it in the front compartment. So the front compartment here still has a paper inside, but um, so you could fit, you could fit your big iPhone in here. This is a big iPhone. So, I mean, if I can fit this iPhone in here, you can fit your iPhone in here. So again, this is the larger size. There is a smaller size for this, um, which is called the mini, I think. So this is called the small, but the, the smaller one is like one, like it's, it's about one quilt shorter. So it's like, I think it's like seven inches wide instead of this is eight and a half. So if you, if you got the small version of this, you know, your bag would end here instead of here. So it's like an inch and a half wider for this one. Um, and in that case, you might have difficulty fitting your, um, in your larger iPhones. Um, uh, what else is there? So then of course there's this big compartment right here. Um, it's going to fit definitely a small wallet. So here I have a Chanel large wallet this is probably the largest wallet chanel has and it's got my cards in there and everything right now so oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that it fits can you believe it does it zip up let me see can I zip this up? wow ladies and gentlemen i can zip up a large chanel flap wallet and i can fit a iphone max Let me take this paper out. Okay, you can fit a large iPhone Max. And this bag will still close. Isn't that amazing? So, let's check this out. That's amazing. I'm impressed. I'm impressed that I can fit such a big wallet in here. Do I want to ever put a wallet as big as this? Probably not. I mean, it's snug. I want to come out now. There. Okay. I think it got stuck on something. 
Anyways, so yeah, you probably don't want to put such a big wallet in there. I mean, if you if you wanted to, you could, but mm, you probably should use a smaller wallet. Otherwise, you won't be able to carry anything else. So that's the inside. It's got like, it's a little bit puffy, but not really. You know, I kind of like this because um, um, it's kind of not too puffy, but not too flat. So, and then here's the back. It's just, there's no, um, what do you call it, Mona Lisa pocket? Is that what it's called on the back of this? Which would have been nice, actually. It would have been awesome if it had um, a Mona Lisa pocket on it. And again, here's the chain. It's got like this leather piece right here, which is nice and, you know, makes it very comfortable on the shoulder to wear. And then it's got the classic chain. Again, so this, the number for this is... In case you guys want to talk to your SA to um, get this bag. All right, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video. Let me know if you have any questions.